Once again, we are back with uh, my rendition of Just Play. We are doing um, The Wolf Among Us. We finished, um, last week we finished off with uh, episode one, and we're about to start with episode two. I want to apologize um, about yesterday because usually I do my uh, streaming on Wednesdays uh, around this time. And unfortunately, um, I had to come in for work. So um, I couldn't put up any kind of disclaimer or anything like that yesterday for those who were trying to tune in and wanting to see if uh, f uh, my latest video. So I apologize for that. So to follow up, I'm going to do um, I'm going to do it today. And we're going to go ahead and, um, as a bonus, um, I'm going to play for two hours and, um, and instead of the hour to follow up for yesterday. And we'll continue on from there. So let's go. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you for trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. You're gonna tell me right now. What the f Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl named. Fuck, man! Get this fucking laptop. Come sniffing around this place. Fucks in the woods need to shake that. Ain't that right, Pigby? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. Nice. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. Must be hard for you. 
Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Your nose is bleeding. so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Yeah. Please. Please. Why is it happening to them? What just happened? We have to go, now. What the fuck is going on? You should be thanking me. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive. But it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours. And everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. But then what about the videotape? That recorded everything. Unless you took the, that evidence. Yeah, that's a good idea. anything. Fine. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning. And I already miss her, too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Our yeah. stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, middle and an end but ever since we moved to this awful city everything's gotten so confused did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking when you saw her last I mean I don't know why but I'd like to know that she was I guess fine I suppose she could come off as callous sometimes but she wasn't really she said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. 
Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. Wait, what? It'll make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, it, Ichabod. Everything's fine on my end. Uh, you probably have to Hello, go back out and B. come back B. in. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Please, try to be serious, D. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Come on, Big B. We both know this isn't going anywhere. Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you. But I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. He's being too nice to him. It's a smart strategy. Be patient. I'm saving that. This is really... what's the point of this? Here. Yeah, all right. Wanna see a trick? <clears throat> Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. So where's your brother? Okay, Look, so mate, I'd talk. like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You mentioned Faith? I got something. I got something. Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, Dee. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, 
I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. This is getting old very quickly. You just carry this around? Always handy that way. What the fuck? Bigby, you shit! <gasps> oh, you're done playing nice now. Is that it? What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. What oh, I did you want from too. I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. She stole from you? She didn't steal anything from me, jackass. It was from my boss. You think I got anything worth stealing? Your boss? Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? Come on, D. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. Keep pushing it, Big B. He'll give up what he knows. You mind loosening those? I can barely feel my fingers. You cracked a fucking bottle on my face, and now you want to be best friends? No fucking way! You're out of your mind! As long as you cooperate, I'll be nice. This is all up to you. Unbelievable. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy. I believe beauty on that one. But I can't give you that information. That's where I gotta draw the line. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. This was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! You were making progress before. What is this patty cake shit? Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done! <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. All right, um, let me try to reset this because there seems to be a small little problem. I'm going to temporarily stop and then I'm going to come back. Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I 
hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way she looked just like me and maybe that's why she was killed i don't think it's about you there's something else going on here maybe we just have to find out who did this and why she was glamoured to look like me i mean that's what it is right so What's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. All right, well, uh, let's give him, let's have a little chat with the little guy. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. So you've got nothing to say for yourself, then? People get called in for questioning, and they get beaten to a fucking pulp? That's enough. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. 
Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. It's okay. This won't take long. Go ahead, DJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're okay. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Take your time. The lady... fell in. But... but she didn't have her head on. I thought... I thought she was gonna pull me down, too. Cause... cause she had rocks on her feet, and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! Hey, okay, Ryan Hassett. Very specific Welcome to my, uh, little you view, to my just play. And, out of sight and um, can happen. as you can you. see, we're trying to inter interrogate the little guy. He's Hopefully we'll get something out of him. I've set boundaries for a reason. This is a special circumstance. Leave him alone. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. <laughs> Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. They said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. <laughs> Sheriff... Did you hear anyone laughing? Bigby, he's frightened. Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. All right, got myself a friend of mine. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? In a minute. When you're ready. Because maybe I could find some more clues. Other than what they were looking at. Hey, Mirror. Hello, Big B. Nice to see you. <clears throat> now that we know Snow's not dead... Who was it who was killed instead? 
Despite your excellent use of rhyme, I cannot help you out this time. But as you know, I'm quite prolific, if you want me to show you someone specific. Okay. The woodsman and I were fighting. Now I want to know where he's hiding. Well, that's helpful. Where can I find Tweedledum? Uh, that piece of scum. It's time to find, uh, see the body. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. We might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on. I didn't realize. You gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth, too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I 
I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Well, if this is glamour, why can't we just use something to, like, get the glamour out of, right. you know, reveal These who it is? Are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, I need to open her coat. Bigby, just let me. Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. We can't waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. W what are you doing? Only way to find out. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Flowers. Yeah. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So... Someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. It's like a Rubik's Cube. So like I said, it's like a Rubik's Cube. And it looks like I... Oh, easy enough. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore.
Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Big P? Ha! I knew it. But eventually that stuff wears... Ah! You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But... We should leave now. You ready? Yeah. And besides, I wouldn't want to leave Ichabod anyway. This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I'm really not in the mood right now. Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's an honest question. Ah! Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right, then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was.
God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want... It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. Oh, the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. Of course. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Like I said, the wolf's got wolf's personality. It's like the Beast or Hulk with a heart of gold. Oh! 
Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. I'm looking for someone. Finding you someone is our specialty, with the clubs closed. <laughs> not quite what I meant. That's too bad. I guess you'd better talk to Georgie. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. It'll be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> so I've heard. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. You can skip the spiel. Save it for the customers. Always looking for more customers. Oh yeah, was not expecting this. You look like you're trying to take a shit. I can take it from here. Yeah, this is good luck. Definitely not for kids. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you! I didn't say stop! For fuck's sake! You! Stay right there! Don't even think about sitting down! Leave her alone, asshole. Sure, whatever you say. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what. Come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? You don't know me. You don't know me. Okay, mysterious lone wolf, right, I got you. Jesus, Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. I think you're behind this. You got her a black market glamour as part of some twisted sex fantasy. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations. Hey, Red Beast, to welcome people. to the stream. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then! Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? 
Tell me what I want to know, or I'll shut this whole place down. Oh, no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. I need to ask you a few questions. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey! That's my personal property! <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Uh, this is, um, The Wolf Among Us. It's like a, a detective version of all your fabled, um, children's books, Don't like Red White Riding Hood, Snow White, and, and stuff growing up, so. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? It's ca it it kind of reminds you of um, Who Framed Roger There's Rabbit, no but just more adult-ish. Do not touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. Well, well. What's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It it's the same people that did that uh, Walking Dead game, which um, I had the second one. I want to get the first one and play that one, too. But it's also like a choose your own adventure. And I, I, and I, and I, like, I like that because there's so many different types of choices to make. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Actually, for quite some time, this is the second episode. There for you. And so, um, this is, uh, uh, I think there's like five chapters to this. This is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit! Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. So then you've you've finished beating this game then before then, have you? Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. Okay, well, so far I haven't reached that part. He collected an item that he believes belongs to a witch, but we're, we're still trying to figure that out. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X-types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. 
I mean, it's a really interesting game because, I mean, you have limited time to make choices and, and stuff, and any choice, you know, results in something. Hello? Business office? You can make yourself look like the bad guy or the good guy. <laughs> no problem. No, no, you're good. Yeah, that's right. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Stick lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Red Beast. That that that's very sweet of you. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Did you see Lily last night? You know where she went, or who she was with. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Okay. What would I need to do? I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. I'm kind of broke. Ah, I should have taken that money from Tweedledee when I had the chance. No, 
not 207? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. or anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh... You? I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... she came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked man. Beauty. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. I'm gonna get um, Big B in trouble. Seriously, she's gotta go tell him. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... You're asking me to lie. 
not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't! I'll help you. Just don't break anything. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but... It's not working. Beauty! Ah, oh, shit. Beast? Exactly, I knew it. How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm not- uh, Hey! Master! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! I don't want to hurt you, so just calm down and- Beast! Yeah, this is not good. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! want to see this yikes beauty stay in the hall what why what's going on <gasps> oh my god don't touch anything is this is this lily met her client here mr smith whoever he is and then must have happened right here jesus last night yeah i was on shift last night on shift Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... so that's... Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. 
I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do you smell something? No, just apple. Because this must have been when she was, you know, posing as Snow White. The cassette. Is that it? We shouldn't even be in here. Wow. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then... And then he took it back off? No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. <sighs> okay. Once again, the flower. Where'd you get that? Lily had it in her hand. In case there was any doubt over who died here. So it's supposed to be just like Snow White. Wow. That's foreplay. Baby, this, I think I heard this music last night. It was playing pretty loudly for a while and then stopped in the middle. I didn't think twice about it at the time. I, I mean, you hear all kinds of things around here and I guess I've already gotten used to blocking them out. Could have covered up the sound of the murder. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. He brought wine. Classy. Wait a second, isn't that the same wine that that uh, flying monkey had? Bumpkin or a bumpkin? What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story anyway. What is it? It seems like he's fascinated by Snow's beauty. He's got this book about her, and he's even written it on the note. And he glamoured someone to look like her. Yeah, I'm sure he's a real romantic. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Huh. Oh no, what else? Something about the apple? What? I think he bookmarked this picture because it shows snow and peril, and he likes that. You mean, like a danger fetish? Something like that. I guess in a weird way that dovetails with his sick romantic ideas. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. God, Bigby, this is too weird. Why did he mark this page? Just looking at this page with snow in the coffin, I think Smith may have an obsession with death. So the freak loves death. That's no big surprise, is it? God, this is all too weird, Bigby. 
Who is this guy? He's got a death fixation. That doesn't bode well for anybody. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Person is a stalker. Not all of them. How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh no. Big B. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand in for snow is gone now, so. The next step closer. What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. Dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. Hello, Big B. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? So let's see. How did you respond to Crane about Snow's death? We ignored him. How did you treat the murder suspect? We persuaded him. Okay. Did you let him come with you to the shirt trap? Yep. A lot of people did. Uh, we didn't hit him. Very good. Percentage. Did you keep punching Beast when he was down? No. Okay. All right. Oh. Of the Wolf Among Us. And to me, that was a really short episode. But then again, I was having so many problems, um playing it through the PS4, where it just kept on, um, like, crapping out on me. Anywho, um, it looks pretty interesting, like we're probably into a lead for, uh, for something, but Crane is a sicko, and we've discovered that, um, there might be more to those boys, to Tweedledee and Tweedledum, than, you know, what they're looking for, because the, the crooked man was what beauty gave uh, gave us a clue about so maybe they could be working for the crooked man or maybe someone even more dangerous and then on top of that it's glamour beyond what they normally do and you know who's the one that's giving them um, the black market version of it so now that we know that you know crane you know did it and apparently it looked like Blackbeard or Bluebeard or whoever that guy was. It looks like he wants to take over and, and you know, run the place. Which he's just as evil and manipulative as well. But we'll find out in the next version. In the meantime, I just want to thank everybody for, of those who stuck around to um, for watching this game. Um, right now... I am in the process of working on uh, a little project. Um, you'll be seeing little snippets of it on my YouTube page. And for those, um, those who want to support it and see where it goes, there will be a link to it um, eventually. So um, we will stay, stay tuned for that. Um,
Thursday like today. So once again, I want to thank you guys for watching and hope to see you again. If you like this video and you want to see more, click on the like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, and tell me what you think. Um, I have two upcoming games coming, Uncharted 4, which I can't wait because I look forward to that game. Uh, you can see the previous games that I've done on that. Um, then you can also check out, um, what was it, One Piece, uh, it was like Blood something, Blood Brothers, I don't know. But that one's going to be coming up soon, so check those out, and I will see you next time. Until then, take care. Thank you.